So after you use create react app to generate the project, this is going to be what you're left with. Uh, the normal typical setup with TypeScript also involved. Uh, I just added a prettier RC file here just so uh, the formatting doesn't drive me insane. So things like having single quotes, just a preference of mine, but we're going to go with it. I'm going to actually format all of the files right now. So I'm going to do yarn add prettier. And once that's done, I'm also going to add a script to the package JSON. And the script is going to be formats. And the script is just going to be prettier. And we're going to pass in the option of write. And then the path of source. And every file inside of source of the file type TypeScript and TSX. And then we're just going to run that right now. Yarn format. Which should change a couple things. So two files. Eh, not bad. All right, now that normal setup's out of the way, we're gonna actually uh, install and then set up Redux. So for that, we need to install uh, a couple packages. So we need to install Redux for our state management. Uh, we need React Redux, uh, which is the connection library. And then React Redux doesn't come with the types that we need for TypeScript, so we're gonna add that as well. So once that's done, uh, let's create a directory just for our store. So I'm going to do make directory source store. And then we will need, um, let's start with just the index file right now. So I'm going to do touch source store index.js, not js, uh, ts. All right. Uh, so our index file is going to be pretty simple for it right now. Um, we just need to import create store from Redux. And then we're going to export uh, store, which is just going to create store. Um, we're going to need a reducer for now. And I'm just going to do. Uh, no operation reducer uh, for now. But that's just going to set up our store so then we could add it to our uh, app file. So here we're going to import from React Redux as well as the store that we just created. All right, let's see. So on the, oops. On the outermost level, we're going to do provider, which comes from React Redux. And it takes in a prop of store, which is the store that we created. And let's go down here. And put everything inside the store. All right. So that's basically it. We set up the store. Now we're not going to be inside of the application for quite a while because we're going to be working on the store state. And that's what we'll do now. So before we actually go into our actions and reducers and all the other Redux stuff, it would be a good idea to uh, implement the data model for all of our state. And we're going to do that by using a TypeScript interface. And I'm just going to call it store states. So let's think about what we actually want. Um, so this is a tip calculator. So we're going to want the bill, which is going to be a number. And we want the percentage inputted by the user. And then uh, let's also include the split. So that would be the amount of people that you're splitting the bill with. Um, yeah, this is all. This is gonna be everything that we need. Uh, we could derive all the other display uh, information based on these three values, and we don't really need anything else. All everything else will be just transformed from these three things. So now I think it's a good time to get started on the uh, reducer. 
So I'm just going to make that aisle. So touch source, store. Yeah, that's where I'm going to put it. Reducers.ts. And then we'll go in here. So the reducers is basically the function that uh, updates our state whenever something is supposed to change. So basically from our source state, when any of these values change, it's going to go through here. And the reducer function, it basically dictates how that changes. Um, for now, we're just going to do import for Redux. And all we're, all we're going to get here is the reducer, which is the type. And then as a placeholder, we're going to take action. And um, yeah, let's do the root reducer first. So root reducer is going to take a thing and it's going to return a thing. Um, actually, it would be a better idea to uh, define our initial state. And this is going to be a type store state that we defined in our index file. All right. So what was in here? We have bill and uh, percentage. And I'm going to have both of those start at zero. And then the split is also going to start at, actually, it's going to start at one because there's always going to be at least one person paying the bill, and that would be you. Now, if we, oh, that was wrong. Um, if we type the root reducer as a reducer function, it takes in the store state. And for now, we're just going to pass an action. Uh, that part's going to be uh, different later. It takes a parameter of state and action and it has to return a state. Now, this is going to be wrong because, just because right now source state can be undefined and that's why we set it equal to our initial state. So no matter what happens, um, we will at least get this back. Oh, there's one, one last thing I want to mention. So since we're in um, TypeScript, but I want to use the, what's it called, the Redux DevTools, we're going to have to do something that's a little unsafe, but that's going to be um, extending the type of the global object. And we're going to extend the window interface. So interface, window, and I have to remember this. What's what's this called? All right, it's Redux Dev Tools extension, and that's going to be a type of a function. And then while we're here, we're also going to um, Dev Tools extension. Compose type of compose. All right, so uh, let's go over this. Um, the Redux DevTools extension is a function that is given to you by the DevTools extension. And then compose is another function that allows you to compose or add middleware if you end up using a or if you end up adding middleware. Uh, we're not going to do so in this um, small project. However, in a larger project, you might want something like um, Redux Thunk for asynchronous actions. Um, if that doesn't mean anything to you, then don't worry about it. We'll get there when we get there. All right, so now create store. We can finally pass in our root reducer since we defined it root reducer, and then in our enhancer uh, field, we're going to do dev tools, and if that exists, we'll 
invoke it. All right, um, so root reducer comes from the reducers, which has initial state, so that's good. And we're passing it into provider. All right, so I think we should just um, start our app and see if we can actually see our Redux all connected and stuff. So I'm gonna do yarn start. And that should open up our projects. And once that's up, we will open up our Redux dev tools. It's just here. So there it is, in it. And this comes from the create store function. And then we could, if we get rid of this, we can actually see our state. Uh, we can see that the, our initial state that we created is passed in. All right. So in the next video, I guess, we'll actually start on creating actions and filling in our application so that it could actually update our state and we could see stuff happening, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll, got, I'll see you guys next time.